but this idea of compensatory education really took off. And then in 1969, the Harvard Educational Review asked one of the foremost educational psychologists, Arthur Jensen, to write a review of the progress. And this article in 1969 has become infamous. The opening sentence was essentially, we've tried compensatory education, and it has failed. Yeah. And then he had 100 pages of detailed statistical analysis of why there were no, in you couldn't demonstrate an increase in IQ score yeah. in any of these programs. Now, Head Start had, had just begun, so Head Start wasn't included. Yeah, but I, you know, I reviewed the literature on Head Start too extensively, and basically what happened was that the, so that was, for those of the viewers who don't know, Head Start was a, a, a nationwide attempt to, to add additional education to the lives of dis, disadvantaged kids, especially, you know, at, at the preschool level. And basically what happened was that they actually did show improvements in academic achievement initially, so in grade one and grade two, they were performing above their peers, but then the difference in improvement, the difference in performance started to decrease, and then by about the grade grade five or grade six, the differences had disappeared completely. So there was no evidence whatsoever of that, of that either of a stable, one-time, long-term gain in cognitive ability, or what people were really hoping was that if you intervened early enough, you'd get something that would sort of would turn into a positive feedback loop and the gains would actually advance across time and what ended up happening with the Head Start research basically was the conclusion that it produced no cognitive improvements whatsoever although more kids who went through Head Start um, graduated from high school fewer of them were delinquent more of them fewer of them became pregnant in teenage in the teenage years and more of them went to colleges but that seemed to be because they were better socialized not because they were in any way had been made smarter so that was a really Tremendous disappointment because it was a bipartisan attempt to come to grips with the fundamental issues that sort of bedeviled structural poverty in the United States. No one was happy about that outcome, I can tell you. Well, so, not only that, but when Jensen published his article, he also said that since IQ increases seem not to be coming from these intense environmental um, interventions, we should consider the possibility that these differences have a genetic component. And that really began the incendiary descent of intelligence yep. research to the periphery. Yep. The reaction against that was universal because uh, it implied a genetic <laughs> inferiority. If you 